Hi students, our next practical life lesson is plant dusting. We've already watered our plants a couple weeks ago, so now we need to get out a container of water, maybe a Q-tip, you can do that, or use a cotton ball and a little container. I found this plant around my house, and it is all, I watered it this morning, but I have quite a bit of, look, there's some dust on there. It is not looking exactly the way I think it should. And I'm just going to pour some of my water in here. Maybe take my Q-tip. Start pouring a little bit of the water on there. Getting the dust off. just to make it look nice. With this work, we have to be super gentle with the leaves. We don't want them to break. Oh, here's a good one. Oh my, this one is dirty. Just like we want to look our best, we want our environment to look nice as well. Make sure to be super gentle. Don't pull on the leaves, you don't want them to fall off. Now, if you don't have a plant that needs dusting in your house, you could find something else to dust, like a shelf, or maybe a book or something, something that just really has been gathering dust and needs to look beautiful, whatever you can find. Ooh, this one has a lot of dust. Oh my. Oof. Goodness gracious. It's already looking so much better. And this work is going to help us out with our our mirror polishing or metal polishing. It doesn't have as many steps, but so it gets us gets us prepared for those those other steps we have to take in those long works. Getting a little dirty. So stick with it. You want to make sure you get all the leaves. Because if there's only, oh, there's one I missed. You don't want all the leaves looking pretty and then one just looking dusty and dirty. I'm just going over my leaves one more time. That looks so much better. Oh, these look beautiful. I'm so excited to put it back on my counter. Thanks for watching, you guys.